Okay, so we're starting episode 16. I didn't sleep well last night. I couldn't stop thinking about what Deborah told me yesterday. This is really the first time that I felt so powerless. I don't even know how I'm going to act towards that manipulating girl today. Hi, Baka Tenchi. How are you doing today? Hi, Deborah. At least I didn't have to figure out how to start a conversation with her now. I was excited to see you. We had fun yesterday, didn't we? No, not really. Haha, <laughs> that's not what you said yesterday. You can be funny when you put your mind to it. If only you had been here at the same time as me, I would have had even better memories of the time of Sweet Amoris. I don't know what game you are playing, but there isn't anything fun about it. You know, the shortest jokes are the best. You don't like me anymore. Iris and Violet are looking at us from a little further away. I can imagine how they are soaking up every word of our conversation. That's why you're being so sweet, isn't it, Deborah? Is something wrong, Baka Tenchi? You have a funny look on your face. Cut that out. I'm not going to make it easy on you by pretending that we are best friends. Somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. Don't act surprised. I can't even tell if you're kidding or not. I've done something wrong. I hope you'll forgive me. It wasn't my intention. I'll come back when you are feeling better, okay? She'd better cut that out soon. Shoot, are you alright, Baka Tenchi? Yeah, why? You just got into a fight with Deborah, and I thought you guys would be good friends. Plus, that's what she seems to think, too. I don't really feel like getting Iris involved at the moment. I'll explain later. What am I going to do? Deborah has clearly decided to continue act as, acting as if nothing happened yesterday. She told me to keep quiet about it, but if I tell the others, I'm sure they will believe me. Um, tell the others or change my strategy. I can't do anything alone this time. I need to tell the others. I don't want her to use them like she used Castell. Hey Baka Tenchi, how are you? Not so good. I found out something yesterday that's really bothering me. Oh yeah, what happened? It's about Deborah. She's leaving already? No, I don't think so. It has nothing to do with that. Phew, I'd be really sad if she left now. It's so nice to have someone new around. Sorry, but she is far from being as nice as you think. What do you mean? She's a real pettest. She manipulated Castle and Nathaniel into hating each other. No, Castle and Nathaniel never really got along. It's gotten more serious since she left, but it has nothing to do with her. Nathaniel told me that he just realized that Castell was a real jerk. Well, uh, he lied. It's because he got into a fight with Castell. He wouldn't have lied to me. He probably just didn't want to talk about to you about it. She's giving me a weird look. You shouldn't say things like that, Baka Tenchi. It's not very nice. But it's the truth, Melody, I swear. You've known Deborah since yesterday. I spent a lot of time with her, and I know that she is incapable of hurting anyone. I don't know what is going through your head recently, but I hope that you will let it go quickly. But there is nothing to let go. She is really a manipulator. I like you too, so I'm going to pretend <laughs> like you didn't say anything. I don't want to have a bad image of you. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go. She turned and left with a somber look on her face. This isn't going so well. Hey, B Baka Tensha, are you feeling better? Pfft, not really. What's going on? I had a bad, bad feeling about Deborah. Do you remember? Yeah, and we proved that you were just imagining things. I thought so too, but... But? She told me how she became a singer, and it's horrible. She manipulated everyone to be the only one to make it as a professional singer. And she told you all of this? Yeah. And you never thought that she was just playing a little joke on you? No, she was serious. Who would divulge their wrongdoings to a little gossip like you? The bad guys in movies do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, but when 
they're about to kill the hero. She was um she wasn't about to do anything to you, was she? No, but if you want to avoid passing for a liar, you should stop worrying about her so much. I know you have your doubts. It's your feminine intuition or whatever, but we spent a whole day proving that she was cool. Anyone can make a mistake, but she really told me everything. She found out that you were gullible and she wanted to make fun of you a bit. It's useless to keep insisting it's a lost cause. Hey Baka Tenchi, you don't look too good. Are you alright? No, not really. I've been trying to tell everyone who Deborah really is, but no one believes me. What do you mean by who Deborah really is? She isn't going to believe me either. Um, are you doing anything special today? I would really like to start sewing again. I haven't done anything since that little cat I made you. Do you want to sew with me? No thanks. I haven't really been in, a mo um, in the mood for that. Oh, too bad. If you change your mind, let me know. Hello, Baka Tenchi. I finally got a hold of Castile last night. He isn't going to leave for now, but he isn't sure about a few things. I have to admit that I didn't really understand him. Oh, yeah? Is he here today? Did he say why he was absent yesterday? He was just a little tired after the concert. He's going to be here later today. The longer you stay in bed, the harder it is to get out. You have trouble getting up too? No, not at all. I always forget to turn off my alarm on the weekends, so no matter what, I'm always up before 8 a.m. Haha, <laughs> that's unlucky. I didn't talk to him about Deborah. Oh well, I'll do it another time. You don't look too good. Is everything all right? Not really. I've had quite an unpleasant conversation with Deborah yesterday. I told her what she had told me. And you believed her? Why wouldn't I believe her? She didn't have any reason to lie to me. She made it quite clear that I wasn't a threat to her. She just played a joke on you. You are too gullible. Deborah is nice and it wasn't her fault that Nath and Castile got into a fight. Why does anyone believe me? Because it's impossible. We know Deborah, you are going to have pro um, you are going to have problems if you continue to say things like that. I have to give up. She was right. No one is going to be on my side this time. Now what? They told me everything, Baka Tenchi. I you can't even imagine how I feel right now. What? Did who tell you that I, unlike others, am not a liar? You keep doing it in front of everyone. Oh. Oh no, please. Don't tell me she knows how to cry on command. You are horrible. I thought we were friends. You said such horrible things about me behind my back. I would rather not talk to you. Cut the act, ever. You're too ridiculous. Bakatenchi, please stop. You aren't helping anything. But Viola, she's just pretending. Look. Oh, sniff. That was a bad idea. What's going on? I, I've i got to stop this. Everyone is going to think that I'm in... I'm the monster in this story. Sorry, I didn't want to hurt you. I was a bit jealous of you. I won't do it again. It's too late. You hurt me too bad. I thought that we would be friends. That... We were friends, but you, you stabbed me in the back by telling everyone that I'm a liar and it's not true. I said I was sorry. Don't yell at me. Boo-hoo, sniff. They didn't change, that didn't change anything. Magatenchi, stop it now. Can't you see that you are hurting her? But I'm just trying to tell you the truth. Don't, don't look at me like that, Alexi. You know me and you know very well that I wouldn't lie about something like this. Come on, Deborah, let's go sit down. Wait! Violet? Everyone is looking at me now. I don't want to. I'm not lying, I swear. Deborah smiled at me, but nobody else noticed her. 
I turned and ran all the way to the courtyard. I lay down on the bench. I want to cry. Why is this happening to me? I've never seen you this pale. Something happened to you, right? No, don't worry. Everything is alright. Are you sure? I told Lysander what had happened. I knew something was wrong, and everyone is on Deborah's side. Yes, even Violet and Alexi. She's managed to play the situation to her advantage. I can imagine that even I would have gotten pulled in. I doubt it. You're someone who thinks before they act. Thanks. He seems to have liked my comment. You should go home and rest. Tomorrow the whole thing will just be another story from the past. I'm sure of it. Not me. If I go, she is going to continue lying to people about me. And you think that you are going to stop her by hiding in the locker room? I can never go back into school. So go home and rest. Come back tomorrow feeling all better, okay? Okay. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lysander. I don't know what I would do without you. You would have just stayed here until the end of class. I've saved you from an afternoon of sad thoughts in the company of empty lockers. And that's a lot, trust me. You know, I heard some stuff about you that doesn't make you look very good. No, Rosalia, it's not what you think. You helped me get through a rough patch with Lee, among other things, so I have no my doubts. I would like to hear your version of the story. Thanks, Rosalia. I told Rosalia what happened in the basement. What a little pest. Do you still believe me? That's so crazy that you couldn't have made it up. Whew, finally, I'm no longer alone. You have to be delicate with this one to get her good. You have to figure out about her weak spot. You want to hurt her? No, just beat her at her own game. But we need to find out which card she has in her hand. I'll have to lead a little investigation. I already did that and trust me, there's nothing to say. You weren't looking in the right places, that's all. Leave it to... The expert. Do you want to come with me? Lysander suggested that I go home and rest. And he, uh, he isn't wrong. All right, then. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Finally, things are getting a bit better. Um, before I went home, I did a little shopping just for a change of um, thoughts. I went home. The next day, I was feeling much better. But I should have stayed in bed because everyone continued to give me mean looks when I went back to school. Hey, Alexi, how are you? Fine, thanks. He left. He is ignoring me, too. There's the little torturer. Are you going to torture anyone else today? Come on, say something, anything, even a comeback. I don't... No, defend yourself. I don't really feel like arguing about that. So you were really mean with Diala? Are you doing that on purpose? I was... Um, it was to get a reaction from you, but you were like a statue. You could have at least pretended. You should always laugh at guys' jokes. <laughs> it's never... It's like never asking a girl how much she weighs. Those are the basics. Sorry, I'm a bit irritated. For sure, it must be nice to have half of the school angry at you. You are really comforting me here, Armin. Thanks. Why aren't you angry with me? You don't believe Deborah? Huh? Of course. We have fights like that all the time in our old schools, so I know that you and the nicest girls can go crazy one day or another. Yesterday was your day, that's all. You are in furious mode. I'm not sure I should be appreciative or not. Okay, I'm going to call this um, part one. Uh